Hello, and welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, iCT4. This tutorial focuses on the creation power of clone bones. B1 Battle Droid Design. This sci-fi themed clone bone avatar design was created using 3D Exchange 4.0 and iClone 4.1 as well. You can create your own battle droid army by following these steps. First, open the iClone and add a clone bone template from the content manager on the left into the scene. Download clone bone templates, clone bone A or B, from the Realusion website. Clone bones are bone structures inside of iClone that allow users to link or attach objects and create other character designs. But first we'll need to go to 3D Exchange and download the model that we wish to create. In this case, the B1 Battle Droid. I'm going to open iClone 3D Exchange 4.0. With iClone 3D Exchange 4.0, you still have the ability to launch the Google 3D Warehouse from the top toolbar. Use the search field to type in the model you're looking for. In this case, B1 Battle Droid. As you can see, the first search result is the B1 Battle Droid design by artist Radical Edward II. Click the thumbnail to enlarge it and view the model, and then click Download Model to add that into your SKP custom file. Click Save, and that will download that directly into the iClone 3D Exchange viewport. You'll notice a couple of changes about the UI in 3D Exchange, such as the Modify panel is now placed on the right and is able to be scrolled, and the Scene Tree is now placed on the left. The Scene Tree allows you to individually designate areas or nodes that we don't want in our scene. We can simply uncheck the checkboxes on the left in the Scene Tree to designate what nodes we would like checked on or active in the scene or off. For this example, I'm going to modify the head, neck, and torso and export those quickly into iClone. I can do that by double clicking the node that I wish to designate such as the neck or the head and then making sure that I have both the front and back side of that node selected here in the scene tree by holding control plus click. I can modify that in the modify panel by using auto smooth options by clicking the weld vertex checkbox to smooth these nodes before export or I can also hold control plus click to designate additional nodes to export such as the eyes of our battle droid. Make sure that you have the front and back side checked on in the scene tree and then hit control plus E or use file export. Name the node that you're selecting such as head. Make sure that export selected model only is checked on so iClone 3D Exchange knows that you're only exporting these selected nodes in the scene tree such as our head once again and then use the browse option to designate the folder that you would like to export into. In this case I've already got a Star Wars 4.0 folder set up. Click OK. Click OK once again and you'll get the successfully exported prompt. Click OK. Then return to iClone, select the set tab, select the props button and then navigate to your custom folder. As you can see I have my Star Wars 4.0 folder here and here is my Battle Droid Head 1. As you can see now the individual head is brought into the scene itself. Simply right click the object to be attached to the clone bone avatar in the scene, select attach and then with the crosshairs icon select the portion of the clone bone structure you wish to attach to. You will see a white bounding box flash to indicate that you have created a successful attach. Also, you will be able to see that here in the attach portion of the modify panel. We can then simply place our head onto the clone bone structure using our transform or move keys to get the proper placement. Do this for each individual area of the body that you have exported until your clone bone design is full. For example, I'll bring in my neck into the scene, right click the neck, 
choose attach, select the neck of the clone bone avatar as well, and then click the icon beside the attach to field to launch the attach to subnode menu, and then select the proper node. Then use my transform or move tool to align the proper area for the model in each individual case. Once you do this for each individual area of the body, you can then begin to make some texture edits to the actual model pieces themselves. For example, if we wanted to focus in on our head area here, select that to make it the active node in the scene, I can come down in my modify panel and I can use my pick tool to select the area that I wish to modify and come over and maybe select a material ball to be applied to it. Don't forget to scroll down and realign your UV type settings. I prefer box for most models. Now as you can see, a texture has been applied to our model. Again, scroll up and select your pick tool and then select an area of the model that you wish to add a texture or material to. Select the load material button once again and be sure to take full advantage of the material ball library and thumbnails that give you a full view of the material before it is applied to the model. We can then choose a custom material and drag and drop that material directly on to the model itself. This way we can easily apply textures and material balls to any piece of geometry. Continue to piece together your clone bone character until the clone bone character design is complete with textures. However, you will want to also hide the clone bone structure itself so it can't be viewed under your model such as you can see here in the neck area of our B1 battle droid. To do this, select the avatar itself as you can see by the bounding box that we have our avatar selected and then under the actor tab select the skin button scroll down and under the material and texture settings portion of the menu under select material you'll find the lower upper shoes and face textures if we select one of our textures such as our upper texture and add an opacity map to it solid black you can see that our clone bone structure itself is now hidden leaving only the geometry to be viewed in the scene. This is how, once you have all of your pieces added to your clone bone character, you can create a hidden clone bone structure inside your clone bone character. To save your character, then simply select the plus icon or add button. This will allow you to save it in any custom folder that you choose inside your content manager and name your avatar as you attach all the body pieces to the clone bone structure itself. Name your avatar and be sure to hit enter to make sure that you have that saved for future use. I'm going to bring in a fully textured and pieced together clone bone character with my clone bone structure hidden and as you can see I've used blend maps to create dirt and grime on this character. Now that you have your clone bone avatar created and fully textured, you can easily begin to animate them by going to the animation tab and applying instant animation from the content manager on the left. And as you can see, your clone bone avatars will automatically begin to animate. But then don't forget, you also have the ability to select the edit motion layer menu where you can make adjustments to any preset motion applied to the character. Now you, with the creation power of clone bones, can create your own droid army to conquer the galaxy. For more on clone bones, be sure to visit www.realillusion.com and for more tips and tutorials, be sure to check out www.iclonetraining.com.